here at Internet Land. As you can see, I'm not in my typical surroundings. I have purchased a 19 foot Class C RV. And if you follow my channel for a while, you know that I hike with a dog that's getting older and slowing down. So she can't really do the miles anymore, but she still loves the outdoors and so do I. So this is my solution. My YouTube channel might be taking a hard turn and going a little more the RV life avenue. I'll still be doing backpacking trips. I'll just probably be carrying my dog in my backpack. So not doing as many miles, not going as far, not seeing quite as much variety as I'd like. But you know the things you do for love. So anyway, I've been getting a lot of requests to see a tour of my new purchase, which I've named Flo. So without further ado, let me show you around. So this is Flo. She's an Adventurer 19RD. The 19 stands for 19 feet long, as I mentioned. So she's kind of like a van on steroids. Um, I don't think I'm cut out for the van life. Kudos for the people who can, but I eat a ton of food. I need a full-size fridge and a full-size kitchen and just a little more space. Helps it keep it cooler in here for the dog when I'm not around. So uh, let's take a look. Sweet dinette back here. This thing floats goes any direction. It also folds down into just a little bit smaller than a queen size bed. So that's probably where I'll be doing most of my sleeping so the dog can get there. I have added some artwork. As you can see, I don't have much of my stuff in here yet, but I'm starting to try to figure out where stuff's going to fit. And I have done some storage hacks and space hacks, which I will show you. Full size fridge. Like I said, I like to eat. Closet, some drawers. There's that bunk over the cab that I mentioned that I'm going to put so much equipment up there. Surfboards, snowboards, all the big stuff that won't fit in the cabinetry. So Flo is on a Ford 350 chassis. Basically like an ambulance chassis. She's a V10, so... I have created a solution to keep stuff from sliding off here because she's got a lot of pickup and she really goes. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Stay tuned. And then this phone booth is actually the bathroom. So the shower, sink, things you don't get with a van. So I opted for the Class C RV because it suits my lifestyle, but props to you if you can do the van life. Uh, let me show you some of the space saving hacks that I've done. You may have already noticed in the tour, but I do not have a ton of counter space. Um, so one of the first things I did was I got a cutting board that fits right here over the stove. And this is nothing new or exciting. People have been doing this in small apartments, but if you add these bungee cords, it's multi-purpose. I not only get more counter space, a nice cutting surface, it helps keep the stove grates from squeaking, which when I drive, they are insanely squeaky and annoying. So. If I put a little tension there, it keeps the cutting board from sliding off if I have to slam on the brakes, and it also keeps the grates from squeaking. So that's hack number one. Hack number two is also a storage space issue. So basically the only storage in the bathroom is inside that med medicine cabinet, which isn't much at all. So I'm trying to use every inch of space. I've got some cleaning supplies against the wall where there's enough space for them to stand upright. Um, scrub brush is tucked behind the toilet there there's actually a trash can squeezed on the other side here but mostly these suction cup bins are what i'm going to use for all my toiletries and stuff so if i can use the vertical space i'll be able to get a lot more in here instead of just trying to fit everything i own into this tiny little cabinet i've even decided to use the space above there's a little nook here right above the cabinet so I have a little bin that I've adhered there and I can put stuff in there and it'll kind of keep it from sliding around while I drive. So hack number two, use the vertical space. Another thing I've tweaked is the closet rack. If you can see the old rack back there behind the PVC pipe, these things are known for collapsing with very little weight on them. So one of the first things I did was I built this PVC T that has support all the way down to the bottom. So I can put a little more weight on there and I can actually hang the hangers on both at the same time. They go right over the PVC pipe into the original coat rack. And so I can put a lot more weight on here without worrying about it slipping and sliding around. These are just closet bar cups that I adhered using adhesive for just a little more stability. But with that in place, I should be able to hang a lot more weight in there and not have it come ripping out of the ceiling. 
like I did in my last RV. And lastly, I told you I was going to store some equipment up here, like a surfboard and a snowboard. And a lot of my backpacking equipment is going to go up here in a bin because this is a huge space that I'm going to have to use every square inch in this thing for storage. So uh, if I put a bunch of stuff on there and then I gun it with the V10 in this thing, then uh, it could theoretically come sliding out of there and fall on me or fall on the dog. So I have created a scrap wood solution for that. And hang tight. I'll show you what I did. So here is the solution I concocted to try to keep stuff up in that overhead bunk. As I mentioned, there's going to be a ton of stuff up here. So if I need to throw my dog up here for a timeout or just keep stuff from sliding out onto my head while I'm driving around, I cut this plywood to fit perfectly between the mattress and the little rim that holds the mattress on here. So just installs real easy, slides in, slides right out, fits perfectly, nice and snug. This is what it looks like when it's not installed. Bonus hack with the Reflectix in the window. It's an old one. Most people know about this one. If you cut them to fit the windows, they keep the sun out. Keep it a lot cooler in the summer. Actually keeps the heat in. To keep it warmer in the winter. So makes it like a dark little cave in here. But it's nice in the summertime when you and your dog are hanging out in the motorhome. It makes a big difference if you can keep the sunlight out, keeps the heat out. So anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Please stay tuned for adventures in the new rig.